guys and welcome to this week's video where I'm going to be sharing my tips and tricks to upgrade your Instagram story game. And just a disclaimer, these are all like pretty basic tips, kind of like basic videography tips. So this is definitely aimed at the novice Instagram storyer. Let's get right into the tips. Tip number one. This is an underrated tip, but I think it goes a long way. And that's steady shooting. So when you're shooting a panorama with your phone or like panning up to something, go slow and keep a steady line. iPhones are just so sensitive to the shake and this is very important if you want to create an engaging video where people can actually see what's going on. And in that same line of thought, holding the phone on what you're trying to capture long enough so that people can kind of see and digest and take in what you're showing them. If you're a little bit too fast, then sometimes it's just confusing for whoever's watching. Tip number two is to have some kind of story. So like a beginning, middle and end, if it is some kind of event or a concert. Um, so you can show yourself on the way somewhere and then what you're doing when you're there. And then maybe some kind of concluding shot, either giving your opinion or how much fun you had or just saying um, like good night or that was awesome. And for this, sometimes you're so caught up in the moment, you don't wanna spend all your time like messing around, making your story perfect. So what I like to do is I record on my phone, just in the camera settings, and then I'll go back later once I'm home and can kind of sit down and I'll put it together either right onto Instagram or I use an app called Unfold, which is awesome for kind of creating like an aesthetic story for your Instagram. And my little bonus tip would be to use the time-lapse function on your iPhone and how you do that is you walk in a straight line holding your phone very steady, keeping it in line with your target to show the passage of time. And I think this can add kind of like a nice element showing you moving to another place. Okay, tip number three is lighting. This is so key, especially with iPhones. To be near a window or have natural lighting, the flip side of that is if you're out in the bright sunshine, everything gets kind of whited out. There's a ton of glare. So kind of tapping the light parts so that your iPhone naturally darkens it so it's a little bit more balanced. So just continue to tap the foreground and the background until you get that nice, soft lighting. And another tip for this, just iPhones in general, most people probably already know this, but they do good at about like how far I am from the camera, this distance, they're super crisp and closer, but the farther you get away, just the more detail you're gonna lose. Which brings me to my next tip, tip number four, is to use a better camera and then to upload it to your phone. And you can see the difference here. This photo I took on my iPhone, this photo I took on my regular camera, and there's quite a difference in terms of quality. So if you're really wanting to showcase the quality of something or create a very aesthetic image, then take it on your good camera, edit it in Lightroom or some other kind of app and post that. Tip number five, the final tip, is the extras, the toppings to your Instagram story Sunday. So that's things like filter, like aiming to use kind of a consistent filter just like you would with your feed to create a consistent look. I generally stay uh, between the first two filters or no filter. That's just my style and kind of preference. You could also use a fun app like 8 millimeter, um, which creates this really grainy film look, which I think is super fun and aesthetic. I really like to draw on my images to kind of create emphasis or to add a little more intrigue. You could also play around with different fonts, sizes, styles, mixing written words with typed words. You can add a drop shadow in for emphasis. When it comes to making fonts, you can even make a custom color for the font by clicking here and then clicking somewhere on the image and that will create a color and that way you'll have more of a cohesive look. And also another app I use often is one called WordSwag, which just increases the range of fonts that you can use on Instagram and makes them look a little more professional. And the final extra would be to tag brands people, take your location for sure so people can know where you are, what you're up to, uh, maybe they want to visit it too at some point if you're at a nice waterfall or something. And this just kind of adds to the dynamic of the shot, making for a very nice looking image. And of course with all this stuff you don't want to overdo it, there's definitely a right amount that you can just navigate for yourself. 
All right, you guys, so those are my five tips that I've kind of learned through trial and error in terms of making a better Instagram story. Go forth and share the awesomeness that is you and your life. If it's something that you find funny or it makes you smile, then there's gonna be someone else out there who's gonna find it funny or it's gonna make them smile. And that alone, I think, is worth it. And yeah, just using these little tips, the little details, being a steady shooter, um, I think go a long way in making a more aesthetic and enjoyable Instagram story. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you next week in another video. Bye!